remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Many residents who were affected by the recent flooding in Joint Grama, a Hodder West local government area of River State, and Biseni in Yenagua local government area of Bios State, have been forced to evacuate to higher grounds, leaving behind their belongings and valuable farm produce. As the people anxiously await the receding of the flood waters, they have expressed fears about imminent hunger as their crops have been left to rot in the submerged fields. Perennial flooding across various states in Nigeria is a recurrent menace that comes with severe consequences. The causes of flooding often includes overflowing major rivers, poor drainage system, ignorance of warnings from Nigeria's meteorological agency, NIMET, and the occasional opening of the Lagdo Dam in Cameroon. Many states still lack preparation for the imminent floods. While this year's flood is somewhat minimal, there are communities like John Krama in Ahoda West local government area of River State and Biseni in Yanagua local government area of Bielsa State that were recently affected. We can be suffering and smiling. Oh, my people, what is happening? In the midst of plenty. Say now waiting we need a development. Many families left their homes because of the rising levels of the floods, while others who still stayed behind were only playing a waiting game of when the unforgiving floods will send them packing. For the past years, you can see the level. I packed up to this place. I was living at Town Hall. And as I'm standing here, we are just praying by God's grace. Otherwise, the next three days, the next three days I will pack out of this house. The whole community will uh, submerge because of this creek. We normally see this flood by September, but we are thanking God that September has passed. Uh, we thought that we have entered October, so the flood period has passed. But unfortunately, we saw the flood. The floods came while crops were still in the farms, waiting to mature, and thereafter leading to premature harvest. Speaking to Inside the Niger Delta, the farmers say the people stand the risks of experiencing food shortage and severe hunger. This of a roast or of fruit cassava is no good. When we have the food, we eat it small, small, so the food will be lasting. But right now, because of this water, now this food is wasting. If you go inside village, you go see some many people they pack. And cassava, they heap cassava for corner. They don't leave the cassava, they pack their load. They go suffer for hunger. People go fish there, their children said because of hunger. No, we never know where to fish chop after this flood. If we don't chop before December, if the food don't finish, we are with our vest. Because this cassava, in case flood no come, with the reserve and keep, they chop small, small. They chop small, small. Before we germinate six months or seven months back. Our team ran into the Ahoda West Council Flood Management Committee while they were setting up a temporary shelter for persons affected at the local government headquarters in Akinima. We call it know that there are some persons that are not very close to the IDP camps that you know, are displaced. At the point where they want to move into IDP camps, we will send them mobility and vehicle to convey them here. Seven additional temporary shelters have been set up across the 12 wards of the affected local government area to support flood victims. The situation in Biseni, a community in Yanagua local government area of Biles Estate, appears even more dear. Our team could not get to Biseni due to the completely flooded roads. Stranded road users shared that the few residents remaining in the community were gathering essentials and salvaging what they could from their farms as they sought refuge. Inside the Niger Delta. 